Hey guys, in the this side from 24 by 7 updating. Hope you all are doing great. We are again back with another video, and this time it's on ASUS Zenfone Max Pro M1. So we'll talk about how to enable camera to API on ASUS Zenfone Max Pro M1. As many of the users belong like you know, for the ASUS Zenfone Max Pro One, Max Pro M1 are looking for this particular functionality. Although there are numerous uh, YouTube videos available in this, but some some says that they have. Uh, created in very rapid mode we are not able to understand so today we'll do side uh, like step by step so let's start with that so the very first or basic step is that you have to enable developer options in your phone so for that let's move to the asus zen for max pro m1 phone so in the meantime let me so that it should not be hampering us for that you will be visiting settings in settings you have to go to system in that you have to click on advanced have i have already opened developer option so it is already available if you have to do it we had already created a separate video on this and we'll add that particular uh, like that link into into the description and as well as a card link too and apart from after that after enabling it you have to go to developer option again and you have to find usb debugging so you have to turn on that so we have already turned on so it's available now this was all from asus and phone max pro ember side so now we will be needing a, a dedicated computer or laptop or machine to do that particular thing so now let's move to that particular part so let me keep the phone side so firstly you have to install or you have to download a minimal adb and fast boot uh, fast boot mode setup for that uh, let's move to the chrome we'll provide the dedicated link for the same in the description as well so once you will click once you will enter this particular url in chrome it will open this particular site you just have to nav navigate uh, to the below so once you will reach uh, the very latest thing uh, that is minimal adb and fast mode uh, 1.43 you just have to click it here it will open in a new tab and for that you have to again visit below like you have to travis as soon as you will see start just click on it once it will be uh, start uh, like you will click it it will download a file here so this is a zip file we don't have to do anything just uh, click it here go to show in folder uh, most probably it will be under download folder nothing else has to be done the best part would be that you first click on properties and unblock it so that nothing will hamper our process in the uh, coming steps after that just extract it either using your default uh, converter and so on so we are just using extract files and it will extract so this particular zip file or, or that particular extracted folder just contain a set of file this one so you just have to double click here and afterward a setup will open uh, you just have to complete it it is a very minimal setup nothing more so now it's asking for the administrative privileges so i'll click yes after that click on next then again next then it is asking just for the directory where you want to install so we just be keeping the default one afterward this would be the, your folder where that particular setup or application will be installed if you want to create a desktop desktop icon you can do that next and now it, uh, it the last step installed so it hardly took one or two seconds now it will launch it so it has already mentioned do you want to launch yes we have to because we have to enable camera to api so this will be the minimal step so we have to do so this is our uh, command prompt or you can say terminal so just for the convenience part let me increase the font size so that it will be visible uh, throughout the video consistently so i have just increased the video uh, sorry increase the font size so that it should be visible throughout the video uh, one has to uh, not one not has to do anything else so now uh, for that part uh, now uh, we have already installed everything now we have to move to the uh, like we have to put our uh, phone uh, sorry the usb cable on our laptop uh, usb port and after that uh, with the micro usb port in uh, on our asus zen for next one so let me do it so let me turn it so as soon as i have turned it it has connected 
uh, again there are few steps to be uh, considered so for that we have to go to device manager so let me minimize this so for that you will be either clicking on my computer part or i'll just go to my pc related thing here we will be clicking properties and in properties we'll go to device manager and it will open a window and it will show us because this is our asus phone so either it should be maintained under uh, these portable devices or either it should be a dedicated so we have already like our computer has already uh, detected asus phone so it has already installed asus android adb devices or oh, sorry adb interface because we will be needing adb devices uh, to run these particular commands so this this step is already done and even uh, our phone is being able to communicate with the uh, laptop or our phone as well so now let's move to let me close this and let me open this one but before that let me show you so this is our by default pi setup uh, sorry the pi option where it asks what what do you want to do with the usb uh, like you are, are you charging and so on so we have to select by default it is saying no direct data transfer but we will be selecting file transfer sorry so now file transfer has been set up and now we'll move to the below panel. Now, now we have to see whether our EDB uh, uh, like bridge between our computer and mobile is being uh, working pro uh, properly or not. For that particular uh, thing, we will be uh, like uh, in, uh, we will be giving few commands to see whether everything is working fine or not. So for that, it's a very uh, like a very easy command, nothing more. You, you have to mention EDB, then afterward devices with after space. So as soon as you will be clicking on this, it will prompt you on your mobile. So at this moment, it is saying a daemon has been started. Like you will be able to view on laptop that a daemon has been started and so on. So now it is showing unauthorized because a prompt has been shown on our uh, mobile phone, but we haven't uh, prompt like we haven't allowed it. So le let me again show you. So this is so as soon as we'll click on OK. So now we have authorized this particular ADB daemon that you are able to communicate with us. So again, we will be running the same command to see whether that particular device is now authorized or not. So voila. So now it's showing list of devices, this particular ID and this is table. So earlier it was showing that daemon has started successfully, but it is unauthorized. So this, this was from the ADB side. Now we have to move to the uh, other thing like how to uh, run, uh, like how to do the uh, how to enable that particular fast food command so for that particular thing we'll again see whether our fast food uh, command is working for that you will be writing fast food then devices so at this moment it won't show you anything but if, if it will be an error then it, it might have shown here so basically it's uh, working absolutely fine you don't have to do anything now we have to reboot our uh, phone into the uh, AD, uh, like bootloader mode so for that we will be writing one particular command that is adb reboot boot loader so let me repeat it again it's adb space reboot space bootloader so i have to just press enter so as soon as i will be pressing enter my phone would be restart and it will be restart into a boot mode like now we are into fast boot mode so now the remaining commands related to camera to api enabling process have to be done while the phone into the like phone should be in under fast boot mode so in that particular scenario we just have to do one thing uh, now we have to uh, pass on one command that would be fast boot command that is fast boot then oem then enable underscore camera underscore h a l 3 then space true so let me repeat it again this is fast boot then oem so basically we are commanding our android device that it should be oem like uh, original manufacturer command then and en enable this and this as soon as i'll be clicking on uh, like i will be pressing true it will pass on a so if if something was uh, like in error in a state then it might have shown but it has shown that your and uh, like camera to api has been enabled so it is showing like this that your camera to api is enabled and it is done so voila we have finally enabled our camera to api on our phone now we we don't have to do anything so it's already done now we will verify that how it will be 
like that are uh, uh, using some one or two uh, apps one is that uh, camera to pro vp and another is manual cam camera compatibility but again now we have to reboot our device so in that particular scenario there are two ways either you should uh, uh, like doing the long shutdown uh, like by pressing the long power button and it will shut down and afterward you have to restart either you will do uh, volume down and restart or otherwise a very simple thing that is fast boot uh, using command fast boot the reboot now it will reboot your device so now let me show you again so now our device has been rebooted so for a, from a laptop's perspective we have completed each and every bit so now let's get rid of the laptop and just focus on the mobile and we'll uh, let's wait till the time our um, uh, phone has been rebooted uh, sorry is logged into the boot uh, login screen so finally we have been logged in into our phone now let's move to the camera to probe api so voila now our hardware level support is level 3 earlier it was showing legacy now again to verify some from another app so you have to install so, so firstly you will be installing camera to pro api then afterward you will be installing manual camera compatibility so for that we have to click on start now it will do its algorithm in the background so voila they, he, that particular app has also mentioned that yeah manual focus is available manual white balance manual iso manual shutter speed raw support and so on so this was all about how to enable camera to api now if we have to install some sort of google camera so let's proceed with that i have already kept that in my uh, inter like external storage using uh, sd card so let's move to that particular folder so this is google camera so i have bunch of google camera so let me open the very latest one which i was working or uh, so which i was using so now it will be asking few of the settings uh, nothing has to be done like allow from this source then again move back now click on install so now the installation process have been started uh, in one or two seconds the google camera will be available so finally google camera has been installed so let me show you a few things so we have to allow yes we have to record audio as well we have to access give access and we have to it, this is uh, like uh, secondary thing like this is not an op uh, this is an optional thing so again we can view so this is a particular google camera so let me try to click something so let me open it here now you can view so we have just clicked this particular photo So basically this was all from our side like how to enable camera to API on Asus Zenfone Max Pro M1. Hope you really like this video. If you really like this video, kindly share this with your friends and family. And apart from this, please share, please share our channel and also subscribe to it as this will surely motivate us and boost us to create more videos like this in coming future. So it's the time to sign off now. Bye for now. Thanks.